Hello, I'm Liz Howard, and I'm going to be reading from my collection, Letters in the Blues Crosswalk. Settler and the Shinabe clan, Noli Trevare. Beauty is my irreparable eye, and today I became geometric. A faux linear figure that distills a skip trace of first principles. In a whiteout of Atlantic snow, banging stars into the femoral vein of Euclid, while rows of lavender circuits, all porous, surrounded me. I genuflected before the hospital parking lot of my father's jaundice, for I am a good daughter of the colony. The colony which begot the immortal heart of the markets, resources nursed all young bucks of the florets, a liquidity I should service, or else receive a lesser dessert. With my smudged cleanse at the ready, I find myself dispensing with the usual future haunt of resilience, a survival signaling my relationship to time, or am I out of it entirely? Come polygon, and I circumvent the disaster. Do not disturb my circles. Holy I am, holy all around my head, the holy I am went careening down the back stairs of this low-rise rental, striated by the pinnacle light of this city that has my blood pooled purple at the center of its gravity. You can scan the ground from overhead for death pits. I read this on the internet when I was dehydrated, lonely, and afraid. Office plants became the broadleaf repositories for my cognition's faded parts. I'd gone and been abominable. A column extended from the top of my head into heaven, at the edges of my system, an Anishinaabe or Indo-European projection of words my nerves could translate into the crawl space of animal magnetism. White pine verticals send us up as a stomach pumped by filial love. Oh, inconsequent curb of my street, I refuse to kneel this day like any other. Flush pockets of rust about another falsehood of water, a creek that fleets. I've gone and got a blister that summer. A black bear's muzzle got coated in shellac from the aerosol can she bit through on my mother's porch at the edge of the forest. Four generations ago, my great-grandmother said, don't ever shoot a black bear. They are my people. Makwa, Makwa from the North Shore. Before I continue to speak more than this, mortuary sunrise, wherein I am only just alive. Bijou, Anim, hello, today is over. As if our future past bore a bad algorithm. A few particles ambushed the path. I opened my mouth to laugh and laughter fell from the television. I said to myself, it's almost better than real sugar. This happened yesterday as I traded my own scalp for grain. Gold loaded our skulls onto the backs of the born and no credit was given where no credit was due. Expectation having grown so heavy in its basement. In between accident and arrival, we are suspended. A significant horizon of downcast fire. In a public moment, my head tilts to the side like what? The cogito is the body, is nature, is the backward glancing continuum of Western history writ in blood. It's as if these winters have nothing on a chin tilted upward. Speaking plainly, it is easier to tie the lunar cards. 
we are bound and the world is what I can feel up against this boundary. The sentence becomes my future mail, my student debt. These heads of nine crows I retreat into storage. Scrolling through the temple of your name, I became locked into this commute of a falling night, still dressed for the office, with my thighs awake, as if any art could reify the time has taken away. The facts are brief, I could not see the temporal bind in front of my face. History could be my mother smoking in her truck out a cracked window, the bluish grays eddying toward escape as all known stars accelerate, a bloodstream of dark matter and the truth I'll never contain. In another history, a grandmother sleeps on a bed of hay while the night sky screams a green light of solar rays. Across the province, a grandmother picked burrs from her worn skirt in a shack at the edge of the reserve. A moose has been shot, but where does she go for her water? Here I am, filming my mother this past summer, demonstrating for a young peasant how to witch for a well. Hold a saw by its edge with both hands and bring the handle up to your chest. Let it fall and then count the bounces. That's how many feet down the water is. The future history of mine takes everything to forgive the impulse to rue the day I met you at the university. I cannot make peace with that which will not lead me to test the surface tension of deeper clues. If I hollow the morrow, could you love me as the poppet of your lost youth? I can make an occasion of the hour known as 3 a.m. for us to seep so readily into confusion. A young man kisses on the sidewalk in front of us unknowingly, pushing a gasp up from his throat before he cuts and runs down the residential street. Could it be that I've lived too long with an idle mouth and my boots untied? The bones of some medieval boy discovered in the dying lips of an uprooted tree in the news today. Call me a taxi when the dawn is incendiary. The green of this could never have known me, not entirely. Dream apartments we could live in, but never rent. The sun hunts me and everything I hold against my sense. Life cycle of the animal called she. Wife, mother, mistress. I ascended not through grace, but by a debt. A trick of red knew its way all through me. How to cure him of the colic, the bed wet, the conquest, or the lack of consent. I haven't got it in my purse, in my nerve, or in a hospice of milk. A lactic dew dripping the patina from my femurs. Waitress, nurse, Four. Had I another beginning, I'd have taken love down from its shelf and inserted it. The century that flattered me begged also in roses and spring. I am but a sinner ever retreating. The limits of my language are the limits of my world, and the word was final beyond a reasonable doubt. Maid, maiden, fall. Breaking down before the reliquary age, I have this sense I am between genders in the west end of this dying city. To be a ram bucking in the stars. Did I miscarry the accident? Out on my own release and flaunting recognizance, I palpated the grief. 
made a mask of all the features that I was suiting. The bones, my dual nature displayed amid a lawn of cosmos. Birth, merits, grave. There is an amber colored skull in the painting called Vanitas that is my son. My son cannot speak because I have no son. I have a brother on the spectrum. He drives a rig hauling metals. He is my brother, but we do not share a father. It is impolite to speak of such things. My headstone could read that I was a creature unafraid to breathe these titles and to speak. Address, occupation, age. Subpoena my belief. Love doesn't work here anymore. I lifted my face into distraction. I lifted my hair at its root, my breasts with wires. When I dreamt the Indian agent, he was the accountant of persuasion. I let down my limbs and replicated. I do not know any other door through which to enter. Castigate my own body in service to the tyranny of will, which is no altar. There is no take away in the forest. Who will be invited to eat and devise a plot of land? Make this mantle disappear. The world is independent of my will. I said this. Nothing in me can ever truly pay the least. And this is Spring Letter. Babu, tracking through the last of snow, love is a root I stumble over in search of you. Leaves fly backwards in my mind, a rewind that a stand of tamaracks sees just perfectly. There is no way to trap the anxious rabbit of me, as my hive also reorders itself inside the brush of wide time. Spin again.